Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. We are back in principle and today we are creating a very subtle, very detailed animation which is like quite necessary for many shopping applications and it really provides some kind of feedback. So what we're going to do is to animate this add to back button and I would like to create a very small animation that provides some context for the user. I would like to, uh, like once a user is clicking the button, we get a little feedback that transforms the button to this little circle right here and adds an, the next number, in this case four, to the back icon. So the user is really able to see once an item got added to the back. And I think many good applications already have this pattern to provide some context for the user. Because for example, if you just have this normal button and you click it or tap it on your phone and you just see that the number changed in this small area right here, like this is not really great for the user because he or she isn't really seeing if there was something that has changed. So. I would, as I said, like to provide some kind of feedback for the user to get uh, a better overview of the things they added to their bag. And what we're going to do now is to open this up in principle. Now, simply click the import button and because I already have it open in sketch, we can import it directly. So at the moment we see that there is no second screen, no animation at all. So what we're going to do is to select the button and in this case we have to just make a group of, out of these two elements and we select it and say tab. And you don't need to drag it onto a second screen because we don't have a second screen. Just place it in the same screen. It is generating a copy of the screen and right now it's really doing nothing. It's just showing the same screen actually but as i said i would like to get a better animation for this little badge right here so we have this badge and the three right here is not a text layer so what we are going to do is to actually create a text layer we are adding a white fill and we are changing the size so we get a so we get about the size that we had before just like that i'm going to change the position a little bit to get some better uh positioning it's not perfect yet but i think we are working on it that looks kind of good so now you see it's, it changed from three to four and we need to get rid of this layer right here. So what we are going to do right now, oh, it's not really perfect yet. I want to be a bit more pixel perfect like that. Maybe change the border, the, the box, which is surrounding the text a little bit. And what we're going to do now is to copy this layer right here from our uh, second screen to all the all way over to the first screen, just like that. So now you see that we have it right here, but it's at the same position. And to generate an animation clicking from the first screen on this button, we need to like change the position and do some other kind of magic. So what we're going to do is to drag it all over to the button because as I said, I would like to uh, have it look like that the button is changing. And what we're going to do is to change the badge, the, like the background. We are going to uh, give it a better radius. So it looks like about the button. It doesn't have to be perfect because we won't really see all of the effects. And let's also make the number a little bit bigger, just like that. That's about fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, as I said. We have the button right here and we have to change the opacity to 0%. So 
right now you see or if we change it back to 100% and maybe make it clickable like that um, you see that we actually have a like just an overlay on top of the button and if we click it right now you see that we don't really get a nice effect so it's popping in super fast you don't really get what's what's happening actually and we need to change some more stuff so what we're going to do at first is to give the badge like the background the same color as our button so once we click it it's still flying in super fast and yeah of course another thing that we have to do of course is to make sure that both of our layers the background layers the badge have the same name to get a correct animation so if they have a different name only the text will animate will change their styling position and so on so I changed the badge to back to badge without any extension or something like that and right now you would you see that it's actually changing to our badge to the new uh, for badge or to the new yeah like little attachment to the back but uh, what we are also seeing as well is that we don't have a badge anymore in this position so look closely to the three right now if I click it we just see that it the, that the three is disappearing because on our second screen we don't have it so what I'm going to do is to just paste it from our first screen so you see it's just laying above the three so we have three to four um, that's super easy I would like to do the same effect again so if I click on the second screen to actually get the effect that we already had to get a uh, fifth uh, item onto our bag so we are doing the same again we are looking forward to oh, yeah we're just selecting the button and we tap it to this to the same screen what we are going to do now is to simply go back to the first screen go to our button we copy it and we place it on top of our second screen I'm going to call it button 2 and we need to go to our third screen and also call it button 2 so make sure the names are correctly so I guess we also have to give this a different name this is batch 3 and in this case it should also be called batch free and text 2 so let's look at this usually what it should do now is to just change from 3 to 4 which was the animation we already created but also from 4 to 5 now let's have a look 4 4 <laughs> of course we have to uh, change the text within our uh, third screen to the five just like that and let's do it again three to four and four to five and again we have to change something because uh, right now when we click it right like that you see that it's changing from a four to five so uh, from, uh, from a three to five so we have to also copy uh, the 4 from our second screen which is this text layer oops and we have to paste it onto our third screen instead of the 3 so we can get rid of that and right now it should work finally 3 to 4 4 to 5 boom there we have it and we could of course go on and on to create the same animation to like up to 10 items or something like that I really have to say if I see those applications if I'm using them on my phone and they have these subtle animations that provide content that are really 
like giving me a pleasure because they are just so fun and so great to use then we as a user and also the users we are designing our applications for will like really love the application will like use it again and again they will in the end turn into revenue and also provide good app reviews on the app store so i think that's a great way to enhance the user interface to give some more fun to the user and yeah i hope you enjoyed this our uh, small tutorial this wasn't like really a big kind of um tutorial where we are animating whole screens but these details matter details matter i think this is something that we as designers have to tell the developers pms and, and so on again and again because the details are the like reasons we are here for i think many developers would be able to create an interface like this from scratch without any knowledge from the designers but i think we as designers also should focus on these details which like really enhance the overall application guys i want to thank you for your time if you enjoyed this tutorial hit the thumb up button and of course subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. Maybe we even reach them while you're watching the video actually. And yeah, it has been a great time to design this with you. I hope you enjoyed it. You can download, download it. The link is down below in the video description and I just wanna say thanks, enjoy your week and we see us in the next tutorial. This video was sponsored by Death Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Death Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at deathmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!